And this is the last part of me reviewing Oscar gowns because I'm actually losing my voice from screaming at Hugh Jackman for marrying a woman who's 20 years older than him. At the television screen. Okay, we're on 21 out of 34. And if you want to follow along with me, go to the link that I provide to you in the description box of this video. All the dresses are on Vogue. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. I was having a family guy moment there. I don't know where that came from. Catherine Zeta-Jones is wearing gold. And it is, looks like the top of um, Sama Hayek's dress. Only dress length. And um, she's trying. She's trying hard, Catherine Zeta. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. She's had a rough couple of years. Her poor husband got cancer. She hasn't been in a movie. <laughs> ah, three out of ten. And Daniel Day-Lewis with his wife. I would feel remiss to say anything bad about her dress because... It is something you would wear to a funeral. <laughs> Two out of ten. That's a dude not reviewing dudes. And Helena Bonham Carter. This is refreshing. This is actually an interesting gown. It really does look like it came off the set of Les Mis. Um, and um, she just, she's, she's always quirky. She always looks like she should be posing next to Johnny Depp. Um, but at least it's interesting. I give it a 6.5 out of 10, but it's not that attractive. It's a little sloppy at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson wore a patrol, patrol blue. How do you know what patrol blue looks like? Like as in petrol? Like as in like gas? Since when does, does blue look like gas? <laughs> so pretentious. So pretentious. Um, gown by Roberto Cavalli and carried a Jimmy Choo clutch, which looks like a can of patrol colored Pepsi. Um, and uh, she looks pretty good. Her figure's looking good. She sang super fierce. A um, lot, of, lot of screaming singing, but like high quality screaming singing in her performance from Dreamgirls. And um, she looks good. Looks really good. Nine out of ten. Really, really, really flatters her, that petrol. Jane Fonda is in lemon yellow Shazam triangles, Illuminati's exploding from her waist. And uh, she is also a woman to look up to if you want to inject your face with fillers and get several facelifts and eye lifts and, and um, triangular Illuminati <laughs> symbols sewn onto your waist. <sighs> Four. Okay, I can't. I can't do this. I. I know. I have to finish. I'm at 27. Come on. Ooh, you've got Olivia Munn in another tampon dress. I showed a tampon dress, Jennifer Aniston champ tampon dress in the first video. This is also a tampon dress with a little bit of gold shite at the top. I. I actually made a funny video about Olivia Munn. Munn. She's. She starred in a YouTube video called Ghost Tits, and I made a video called Ghost Dick on LOL Pervs, so you might want to check that out, L-O-L-P-E-R-V-S, Ghost Dick, and this dress looks like she took a curtain from a stage and ripped it and then pinned it to her waist, and then the top looks like uh, something cheap, like a bathing suit that probably could have cost maybe 60 bucks. I give it a 6 out of 5 out of 10. Hugh Jackman's wife! Also dressed as if she's going to a funeral. The funeral of the illusion that they are not beard and beardette. I don't buy their relate. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second. Maybe it is true love. Good for them. They look like they're dead. Melissa McCarthy. You know what else is gray? <laughs> the biggest mammal in the ocean. I will leave it at that, Melissa McCarthy. Pale gray. <laughs> da, 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 Okay, 30 out of 34. Four left. You can do this, May, because you're going to collapse. You're so tired. Harvey Weinstein, famous, powerful man with 
the pregnant, gorgeous woman. How did he land her? Oh, that's right. He's the most powerful man in Hollywood. She's also in toilet paper, but it's flowing deluxe toilet paper that's smooth, smooth and covering their angelic little, that thing that's going to deposit money in her bank account when they break up for the next 18 years. Congratulations. Fan Bing Bing! Fan Bing Bing is wearing a big pink huge folded another curtain dress out of satin folded in a bunch of weaves like beautiful. It does look a bit like origami and I'm, I'm not saying that in, in, in a ridiculous way and and it's pink. It's kawaii. It's but she's Chinese. Um, it's no, but that's not, I did not mean that. In I just it it is um it's a dress and it's very pink and there's it's generous. It's a generous frock. Three out of ten. Kelly Osborne wearing something asymmetrical and strappy, liney, purple hair. I like the purple hair. Looks good. She's looking more and more like her mom, uh, Sharon. Uh, and um, the dress is attractive, but it's uninteresting. It's a four. 33, Kelly. Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. Beyonce's friend. Um, asymmetrical, again. One leg, kind of like Angelina Jolie's extra leg. You know, remember the leg, leg gate or leg bombing? She wants the leg bomb. Instead of instead of leg bombing, her dress is bombing. Two out of ten. Last one, Obama and his wife. Obama and his wife and her bangs are up. No more bangs. No more bangs. But I would bang Obama. That's it. That's it for this presentation of the fashion police reviewing dresses. My first two are funnier. I am tired. I think I'm going to go slip into something more comfortable that looks like a, the, the, the biggest mammal of the sea, comforter on my king-size bed.